side of Quebec City. And here he comes now. We call him the Flying Frenchman, and you'll see why he has earned that later on this evening. Please welcome Serge Beaulieu! And now, one of your hometown boys, Dave Richards! Whoa, look at that. He drives the Maniac monster truck we'll see later on. And now coming in from Cambridge, Ontario, another one of our stuntmen, Blair Johannes. He's in his first year with us and doing a bang-up job. We'll see him in just a few minutes. Next, from Windsor, Maine, our crazy one-handed woman driver. Please welcome Toby Thibodeau. And now I'd like to direct your attention down to your far left-hand side. We're going to show you a little bit about what's going to happen here this evening. Up and over he goes. 43 years in the show circuit, appearing in many countries over these years. And now at 67 years old, the owner and founder of our show, we call him Big Fat Paul from Montreal. Paul Riddle, ladies and gentlemen. Taking his car along with the cars way down to your left-hand side, where they'll all form up and come back, four cars, Bumper to bumper, driving in precision driving, bumper to bumper, and you can see how close these tires and bumpers are. Later on, we'll invite you all down to take a look at the cars, and you can see how the paint has been worn off of the bumpers as they perform these and other stunts. All right, there they come now. Watch them now as they come and parade before you. Going driver's side up over our first set and second sets of ramps. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Riddle's Imperial Hell Drivers. Whoa, look out there now. Look at them. It looks like rush hour or in the shopping center at Christmas time when everybody's fighting to try and get ourselves a parking spot. We're going to turn them all around and bring them all back. Bumper to bumper once again as they weave their way in and out between the ramps to go down and get turned around. We call this the snake position. Once again, bumper to bumper as they weaving back and forth. The only thing these cars can do is follow the trunk in front of them. Wherever that front truck goes, the rest are sure to follow. Turning our eight around is too wide. Watch how far apart they are as they come closer and closer to the ramps and start squeezing closer and closer together. All right, here they come, approaching the ramp, starting to squeeze together. Up and over they go, and once again, there you have it as they go right on down and be right on back. We'll each bring each driver in, and you'll be able to show your appreciation. Your applause is what makes everything happen. The more you applaud, the more these drivers try to go out of their way. From East Vassaboro, Maine, Dave Richard, Cambridge, Ontario, Blair Johannes, Windsor, Maine, Toby Thibodeau, and Big Bad Paul. Driving with Paul is Toby's brother who's come out to see the show, and I believe it's the first time he's seen the show. you here tonight. All right, watch him now as he lowers himself down. Sliding along out right through the flames. There we have it. Whoa, hey, man, oh, man. Uh, ring around. Serge Beaulieu, our flying French rep jobs for us, as well as these Fords. We decided to try them. These neons this year. And let's see what's going to happen here now as we have two of our cars getting all ready to come on up. Driver's side up, and here they come. Up and over. Oh, look at them flying now. Up and over they go again. Whoa, all right, get turned around and come right on back. Because now as we bring them on back, we're going to have them do a crisscross. And not only one, two, but we're going to do three of them. 
Keep your eyes on our cars now as they get all ready to cross number one. Before the ramps, another one in between. Let's see how close. Whoa, there's one. And how about this one, ladies and gentlemen? Keep your eyes on them. There we have one more. And the last one. There it is as they go down. Whoa, boy. Down they go to get turned around, and we're going to bring them right on back. And this time when we bring them back, we're going to have them with the driver's side down or the ramp closest to the infield. We'd also like to thank your volunteer fire department for being out here this evening just in case they're needed. Here comes our cars now. Driver's side down. Watch them once again as they fly over the ramp. Look at them moving now. Up and over. And down they go and turning around and coming right on back with their crisscrosses again. Boy, are they getting closer, aren't they, when they're doing that? You get out on the throughway sometimes and you think some of them are like that all the time. But here they come once again. Let's keep our eye on them now as they're all ready for number one. Here we go. And there it is. And let's have another one right in the middle. And there's another one. And the last one now. Can we get it in? Yipper! And away they go. Oh, man, oh, man. We're having a grand time here this evening. Bringing them right on back. And this time it's going to be side by side. Or as we say up in Newfoundland, Canada, side by each. Watch them as they start squeezing together as they come down the raceway. Look how far apart they are now. Watch them now as they look at them getting closer and closer as they get closer to the ramps. All right, here we go, up and over. And one more. There we have it, our crazy woman driver on the inside that time. All right. We'll bring them right on back with their crisscrosses once again. Let's keep our eyes on them there. Sometimes accidents do happen, and we certainly hope they're not going to have one this evening. Locking bumpers can be very, very painful as they do this here. Here's one. All right, and another one right in between. And there we have it. They're getting closer and closer, and whoa, they beat it. Down they go to get turned around, and this time as we bring them back, we're going to have them do a crisscross before the Rams. Another one in between as they cross over and try and get up on the second ramp and get over that and try and do another one before they get down into the corner. All right, here they come once again, getting all ready for the first crisscross. Let's see what's going to happen. Can they get over and on? Yes, they're over, and up they go. And there's another one, and you they made it, and there's the last one as they go down. They come right on back. Oh, boy. They were flying that time. Turning right around, our first car will be our crazy one-handed woman driver. Come right on close by from Windsor, Maine. Here she is now, Toby Thibodeau and Big Bad Paul. Now, Toby lost a hand about four years ago when we were doing the show out in Saskatchewan, Canada. But his good looks and a crash helmet to protect himself. All right, here comes our flames. There we go. We have a flaming board wall now. And here comes our bucket of gas. Whoom! All right, here's our daredevil now. Oh, my God, he's caught on fire. He's on fire. Where's those firemen? Let's get him out. Oh, he's on fire. Let's get him down. Get him down and get him out. There he is now. Let's give him a big hand. Blair Johannes. Almost got barbecue tonight. And let's not forget our volunteer fire department that are out here this evening doing a bang up job. Always doing their job and most of the time never getting thanks for it. But we're glad they're here and when they're needed, they're always ready to go. Dave Richards, driver's side up. All right, here he comes getting all lined up. The only time Dave does this is when we're playing down here in the United States. There we go again. All right. He enjoys doing this. Took a couple of years for him to practice. There we have Blair. And here comes our crazy one-handed woman driver. Up and over she goes. And once again with Big Brother watching. All right. Big Bad Paul and one of your volunteer fire department guys. Hold on there, buddy. Up you go. All right, going all the way around the track. And for this to happen, and we never know just when and where it's going to happen. 
Serge, when he gets tired of following the big fat man, he just gets up and over him. All right, here comes Serge into the lights now. And here he goes, up and over! Woo-wee! Yeah! As he goes on down on one wheel. Side right down close against the track. All right, let's see what's going to happen now. At 67 years old, Big Bad Paul, let's see if he can still get it up. On two wheels, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Balancing the Ranger pickup on two wheels as he goes right on down the raceway. Oh, boy, oh, boy, there we have it. You want to see him do that again? If you do, let's give him a big applause. We want you to do it again, Paul. All right. One thing we forgot to tell you, Scott, that the only thing that holds him up there is his one arm out on the roof of the truck. The other one is on the steering wheel. And the only thing there to hold Big Fat Man up is that little itty bitty safety belt. And if it should accidentally break, why well, he'll just slide right on down. That'll be the end of Scott. Okay, here we go once again. Let's see if he can get it back up on two wheels. Yipper, there he is. Look at that, balancing right on two wheels once again. Oh boy, oh boy, look out for the fence. Oh, get away from the fence. Oh, he gets me worried when he does that. Uh, look at that, he's going now. Oh, he's gonna make it into the turn, I think. Yipper, whoa, look at him wibble and wobble as he goes around. Look at that, he can only see that one light looking down on the raceway. And there he is going around the turn. I don't know how far he's going to be able to go, but look at him, he's still up on two wheels. Yipper, look at that, he's still up there, and he's just about through that turn. And there we have it, back down on two wheels. On four to drive, because if he can get that car going and come down here and up and over the ramps. Crash and bash and smash and tumble and whatever going to happen. Let's keep our eyes on him, because here he comes now. Crash and roll, heading down the trail, heading up for this poor old ramp, and I don't know if that car's going to make it too far or not. But here we go, up, 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 and one, two, three, four, he's back over. Get the ramp up quick, he's ready to go. If that car can make it, he's going to do it all over again. He doesn't have too much power. But look out, boys. Get that ramp up quick. Because he's trying to go and make some extra money. He's got $100 now. And he wants to make a couple more bucks. Let's see what's going to happen. They got the ramp up with no blocks underneath it. Hurry up, but his old crash is coming to turn around. And he's going to come right on back. He's got $100. He's going for more. Here he comes now, let's keep his eye on him. Remember, these are old cars ready for the scrapyard, and we don't know how good they're going to run. But he's got four good tires, and here he comes again. Let's go, 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 roll, roll, roll. And he's back on four. Oh, let's get him going. Let's get him Watch going. Watch as he flies through. Bill Zalesko, here he comes now. I'll keep your eyes on him. And up, up, and away in just a second. And here he goes, Woo! Woo! Man, did he get some air time. Up and over he went. Hey, he's still running. Look out. He might do it over again. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, this car. I don't know what they got there. I don't even know what kind of a car that is. You guys ever seen anything so small? Hey, Ziggy, what's that sign you got on the front of your car? Honey, I shrank the rabbit. Well, how do you do that? Your mother put it in the washing machine. Oh, yeah, well, you think the next time you buy a car, you better get a pre-shrunk one. Hey, what kind of a car is that you got there? A Rolls Royce. No, it's not a Rolls Royce. A Rolls Canardly, I never heard of that. How does that work? Rolls down one hill and, hill and can hardly make it up the next. Well, pray tell, what are you gonna do with that car of yours? Hey, 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 wait a minute. No drinking on the job. Spit it out, now spit it out. He's watching, whoa! Hey, where do you get that stuff? From the sheriff. 
I don't think so. We'll have to go over there after the show and just see what is. He's got it in the trunk. Okay. But anyways, what are you going to do with that car? Something else happens to that car. You're driving it. Okay, well, at least you're inside now. Looks like you're inside it. It's hard to tell with that thing. And you, you call that car whoops. Look out, don't run over the fat man. All right, let's take it away! Now I know why they got that sign on there, whoops! Whoa! Good brakes. All right, here we go again! Ziggy at his crazy car! Whoa! Look out! Ziggy the Clown, let's give him a big hand and send him on his merry way. And now you'll see this fine Ford from Gray Ford going right in the cannon, kicking out the clearance. An extremely dangerous stunt, ladies and gentlemen, because if he is off by just a little bit, he'll run right into the side of that cannon, cut himself and the car right down the middle. So he has to be exactly and precisely on, and that's why he does that little test. Driving in, the very first time that car has been in the cannon, he does it and checks it out just to make sure that everything is all right, he has enough clearance and so on and so forth. He'll probably go around and take a look at the cars that are there to catch them. And then he goes around the track and the next time he does, it's to go right through the cannon. There All is. right, here comes his old station wagon, his old Ford, and here he comes down the raceway now. Let's keep our eyes on him. And the cannon shot, a very, very dangerous stunt, ladies and gentlemen, and here he goes, up, up, and away! Woo-wee! Oh, boy, oh, boy! Let's get him out of there and see if he's all right. The Flying Frenchman, ladies and gentlemen. Now you see how he, uh, he earns this thing. There he is now, Serge Beaulieu, the Flying Frenchman. There he is. Man, oh man, look at how he moved that car. What? With his monster tank coming over our four vehicles. One thing about Big Bad Paul, he gets carried away. He doesn't like to slow down. He puts the pedal to the metal and the metal to the pedal and he just boogies right on up over those four little old cars. Let's line her up. All right, let's put the pedal to the metal and the metal to the pedal and boogie woogie. Yeah! Woo! Hey, you missed one. Go on back and get it. He missed that second car altogether. He boogied right over the top. Oh, you'll get it this time, Big Bad Paul. All right. He'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. Come on in there. Get her turned around and around we go. Okay. Let's get some deadly aim on these suckers. Okay. All right. Get the pedal to the metal and the metal to the pedal and boogie woogie. Come on there, let's get them. Yeah, you got that one that time. Right on. Oh, you left a bit of it standing up. Maybe you better go get it again. That's a Pontiac there. You know what they say about them. Go get them, Pontiac. Okay, here he comes once again. Let's see if he can get that roof this time. Put the metal to the pedal and the pedal to the pedal and away. Hey, hey. Oh, you're getting it. Yeah. Up and
seeing you can't see the, where the wheels are pointing, you have to have somebody out back showing you where the wheels are. Okay. No sense talking when they're revving those suckers up, you wouldn't be able to hear me anyways. Aye, right, that's easy, all lined up. Up and at them! Woo-wee! Oh, that got that roof that time. Yeah. A little nudge just to make sure they're all still there. Now, this is an awful lot lighter machine. Running on alcohol. And uh, let's see what's going to happen with Davy. Uh, go get him! Whee! Woo! Hey, right on! Woo! Hey, let's see him do that again! All right, here we go. That's an awful lot lighter machine, and boy, he can really get her up in the air. All right. Here comes the maniac again. Okay, there's a punch. All right. Okay. Give her a little kick now, and away we go once again. Okay. Let's give her hell and kick some of that other stuff. Woo! Bouncy, bouncy! Work, all right. He has checked that out. Now he comes down to find out where he's going to land. Check and see where everything is. All right. He seems to be happy. He's going down now. The next time we see him, he'll be flying over our monster trucks. And look how skinny that ramp is. That's half the size of the ramps that we were using. But look how high it is. All right. Down, psyching himself up for this stunt. He thinks he can do it. He's willing to do it. And in just a moment, we'll find out if he can do it and do it successfully as he's going to jump over these two vehicles right here on the racetrack. All right, here he's picking his feet up now. Keep your eyes on him now, because here comes the flying Frenchman! Woo! Right on! Yupper, that's it! Serge Bolio, the flying Frenchman! Whoop, I think he has trouble with his motorcycle. I think he broke something on his motorcycle. Everything is stopped. You folks can come in now. He's got his rear wheel jammed. Something wrong with it. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You come on in now. Come and talk to the drivers. Get your autographs. Buy your souvenirs. The t-shirts are $10 a piece. All the money raised from these goats to the drivers. It doesn't belong to the show. But you can have a souvenir t-shirt. Get all the autographs you want. Come and inspect and look at our cars. You can look at everything, but please do not go near the old cars as they could have sharp...